I'll tell you what, I've read a lot of memoirs. I've never read a memoir uh, like this one before. This is Hunter Biden's book, Beautiful Things, that comes out on Tuesday. It is extraordinary. You know, you've heard about Hunter Biden over the years. You've heard all the tabloid coverage of Hunter Biden. You think you know his story. We know that right-wing media is obsessed with him. Fox News always uh, targeting him. And there are real questions to ask, including about that laptop uh, that CBS uh, is probing, uh, that CBS asked Biden about in an interview that's airing uh, today and airing again tomorrow. But this book, this book about addiction, about how many times Hunter Biden could have died, the president's son, it's breathtaking. So let's talk about it with Kate Bennett. Uh, she's also read a copy. She's a CNN White House correspondent. Uh, Kate Bennett is with me along with David Zerwick, who is back for more. Kate, I just want to preview this for people. Th this book is kind of under the radar, comes out in two days. What stood mm -hmm. out most to you? Well, I think it's just what you said, the, the depth and scope of Hunter Biden's addiction and the honesty with which he discusses it. I mean, this was a man who had a serious crack cocaine addiction as well as a serious alcohol problem. He had his first drink when he was eight, t eight years old, sorry, a glass of champagne at, a, at an event with his father. And it, I think it also shows that addiction is really the great equalizer in, in this country. Uh, and, and, you know, it's the one thing that really brought President Biden to his to his knees. I mean, I mean, this is something that's helpless for many, many American families. With people that is the critical struggling. point. And it, it, yeah. take, out, take out the last name Biden. This is about addiction and how to help people. And it's going to resonate for that reason. Uh, David, the idea that, you know, someone like Hunter Biden's covered in the tabloids, he's covered on Fox, people never hear his side of the story. Uh, it's rare to actually hear the principal or the celebrity in this case, that's the wrong word, but you know what I mean. The famous person actually tell their account after being, in many cases, smeared for years. Also, yes, and also to tell it so well, to tell it as a journey, um, you know, uh, I don't want to call it a hero quest, but it's the kind of thing Carl Jung, Jungian journey. It's powerful. It's profound.